this is a screencast on the Google Drawing app and some of the different things you can get, do with the Google Drawing. First, um, when you want to create a drawing, you're going to go over here to the corner and click on Create. Yours might say New, but either way, click on the red box here. And go down to Drawing. As always, the first thing you want to do is title it. I like to use drawing to uh, make different flyers, so I'm just going to title this flyer. Now, when you're creating a flyer, you probably want to change your page setup to look more like an, a regular eight, eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. So you can change that by going up here to File, down to Page Setup. And right here where it says standard, you're going to click that and you're going to go down to where it says custom. And you're going to change the default settings to 8.5 by 11. And you can see it changes it to make it look more like a normal sheet of paper. Alright, so we're just going to mess around here and look at all the different things you can do with a Google drawing. Um, I guess you could start off by inserting different text box. I use these to apply color to whatever I'm working with. I like my flyers to have lots of color. So if I wanted, let's say I wanted to do a border, I could, I, if you saw, I clicked and dragged the text box to, a, to encompass the entire document. Once I do that, this, it opens up all these other options up here. I can change the color which I can select one of these or I can go to custom and I can select from these colors here so maybe I want my document to be this kind of pale pink maybe I just want a pale pink border so then I can go here and add let's say the rounded rectangle shape we want to make the color of that just white. So you can kind of see how I just gave my flyer uh, sort of a border here. Some of the other things you can do when you add shapes, mm, let's say for example, uh, I'm going to add another rectangle in here. So you already saw how you can kind of change the color of the rectangles. You can also change the color of the border, the line color of the border. So um, I don't know, let's say I want to go with a purple here so you can see how that changed that border. You can also make it thicker, the line thicker. I made that little a little bit thicker there. And you can change it from a solid line to a dotted line. So let's say this was a, a flyer for my friend's birthday and I was throwing her a party and so I wanted to create a flyer to send out to everyone. So as I'm, if I want to click in this text box that I just created and I want to write um, something, let's say for example, let's celebrate. Now the same thing with um, text in your, your Google Docs, any other uh, apps you've used in your Google Drive, you should be familiar now with how to make changes to your text. Once you type it, I'm just going to highlight it. I'm going to want this to be centered. So I'm just going to center it here. Um, I can change, I can make it bold, italicize it, underline, I can change the color of it. Let's make this, I don't know, let's try this blue color. I can change the size of it. 48. I can change the font, the style. So maybe I want calligraphy. I can also take this dot right here. Well, if I wanted to move the entire text box, I can click and drag to move that. I can also change the position of it by right here where that dot is. I can change that and you can see I can change the angle of it. So I can make it look like that. Um, see, I could make this go on. Oops, go on the side of the document if I really wanted to, and then put all of the details along here. 
However you want to do it, it's up to you. I kind of like it better at the top, so I'm just going to turn that back around. Oops. Probably would have been better for me just to undo the changes, but we'll make this look as good as I can for the time being. There we go, back to zero, zero. Okay, let's celebrate. Some other things I can add in here are some different lines. You could do um, a straight line, arrows, curved lines, polylines, and scribbles. I'm just going to kind of mess around with some of these so you can see how they work. But for a curved line, for example, anywhere you click kind of makes the curve. And you can also, you can see I'm clicking. Every time I click, almost like it holds it down. Um, you can make a a shape out of that as well instead of choosing one of their preset shapes so I don't know why I would want this in there but let's say I did and then same thing here as soon as you make your shape you can go up here and do all the changes that you might want to do to it um, and to get out of that shape see how it's on there by default you can just click it again and then once it's highlighted this is when I can do anything I want to it notice when you um, Sometimes you have things that overlay on each other. Let's say for some reason I wanted this shape to kind of lay on this shape, but see how it's covering up my words? Let's say I didn't want it to cover up my words. I could simply, when it's selected, hover over it and right click. And right here where it says order, right now the way we have it is at the front of the document. I can send it to the back. Oops, try that again. There we go. I'm going to right click, order. I can send backwards and notice how now it's behind this so I'm not covering up the words anymore. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to highlight it and delete it. I didn't really like that shape. But some of the other shapes you can kind of mess around with. You've got call outs. These are pretty cool. So I might say draw a call out and say color to it. Mm. Maybe I'll put the details in here. Time, 11 a.m. Place, L-M-J-H. And then again, I can move my call out around. Notice that it's kind of covering up some of the words. So again, I'm going to go to order send backwards and send it to the back. Um, let's see, what else can we do here? I don't know, just kind of take some experimenting here with some of the different things you can do. Uh, the, the last thing you can do, you can also insert images. That's pretty easy if you just, you should know by now to get an image if you went to your, to Google. Let's say you want an image of a birthday cake. Go to images here. Okay, so let's say I like this birthday cake. Click on it. I can right click. Okay, so I am going to, again, as I was saying, if you want to add an image to your um, drawing, you can right click on it, hit copy image and then go ahead back to your flyer. Just right click again and hit paste. You can see right here it says creating images, so it's trying to get them in there. Oh, and you can see it's really big. It's highlighted, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click and drag to make it smaller. And then again, you can kind of move it to wherever you want just by clicking and dragging it. Another thing you can do is insert word art. You can do that by going up here to insert and selecting word art. Let's say I'm going to write, um, yay, it's Mrs. Mason's birthday. I'm going to go ahead and have that inserted into 
a document here. So this is what the word art is. It just kind of uh, emphasizes your letters a little more, or your text a little more. Again, when that's as soon as that's up there, you can see you can go up here, change your colors, change the border. I don't know, I'm not the best with colors. Rotate it. a basic tutorial of some of the different things you can do using a the Google Drawing app. Don't forget when you are ready to turn in your assignment, as with all of the other Google apps we've used so far this quarter, you have to go up here to the share button and you'll click that. And you want to make sure you change it from private to anyone with the link. And then you're going to turn that link into Edmodo. All right, thank you.